Members, next we'll move to House Bill 1647 uh, by Representative Roach, local regulation of non-conforming and unsafe structures. And I understand you have a committee of your own to get back to. Chair Roach, you're recognized. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Chair Soroy. Um, members, um, <clears throat> this is our second time here in this committee with House Bill 1647. Uh, you voted it out of committee last year. Uh, this, this is the uh, Safe Structures and Resiliency Bill from last year with some substantial revisions. Um, and essentially, a quick recap on what the bill does. It allows owners and developers of properties that intersect with coastal, uh, coastal construction control line to demolish exi existing structures if they're non-conforming with FEMA guidelines, have been deemed unsafe by local building officials, or have been ordered to be demolished. Um, Last year's version of the bill, we had some concerns about the applicability of language to certain historic districts and com contributing structures, and we've narrowed the language to apply only to those qualifying structures along the state shoreline that are most vulnerable during emergency events. Uh, happy to take any questions from the committee, sir. Thank you very much for that explanation. Members, are there questions on the bill? Questions on the bill? Seeing no questions, we will now move. Uh, you have one amendment. Representative Roach, you're recognized to explain your amendment. Uh, yes, thank you, Chair. So this amendment is simply a severability clause. This is a, a land use issue. We know these things can get uh, litigated sometimes. So the, the amendment simply says, uh, if any part of this is held invalid, then the invali invali invalidity does not affect the other provision of the bill. That's the amendment, sir. Thank you, Representative Roach, for that explanation. Members, are there questions on the amendment? Questions on the amendment? Seeing no questions on the amendment, having no public testimony on the amendment. Members, is there debate? Seeing Representative Nixon? We're in, uh, I, didn't, I didn't see who that was. We're on the amendment right now. If you turn in a card, you can speak on the bill. Members, we're in debate on the amendment. Debate on the amendment. Seeing no debate, Representative Roach, you're recognized to close on the amendment. Wave closed, Chairman. Having wave closed, members will show the amendment adopted without objection. We'll now move to public testimony on the bill. Kimberly Dinkins, 1,000 Friends of Florida, Waves in Opposition. Terry D'Amico is an opponent of the bill. Ma'am, you're recognized for one minute. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and Representatives. My name is Terry D'Amico. I'm a council member of Bay Harbor Islands. I'm not speaking on behalf of the town today. I'm here because I am an architectural historian. I'm a former adjunct professor at FIU School of Architecture with a 30-year career designing oceanfront hotels and resorts throughout uh, Florida and the Caribbean. I worked with Morris Lapidus, the famous architect of the Fountain Blue and Eden Rock. I coined the term MIMO to represent Miami's significant uh, post-war history and its mid-century architecture. I'm here to ask that you re remove the term non-conforming as it is misleading. Um, FEMA-based flood elevation, if we don't meet that, it does not mean the building is unsafe. These buildings have lasted for for years, we worked with the property owners and formed consent among the designation of the North Beach Resort District. Just a few, a few blocks along Collins Avenue, um, it is the average, we're celebrating the average American be able to get down to Florida in a car, and they were, the beauty of it was after the war, it was the glamour of arriving both physically and socially. Thank you. Please consider that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Daniel Ciraldo. Uh, Miami Design Preservation League is an opponent of the bill. For your recognition for one minute. Uh, thank you so much, uh, members. And I'm going to put my timer on because I do not speak as fast as all of you, but I'm learning. Um, so Daniel Serrado with Miami Design Preservation League uh, here from Miami Beach. We first wanted to say that although we're listed as an opposer, we were very happy with the latest version. And we want to thank the representative. Um, uh, the latest version actually does limit the impact to our historic districts throughout the coast of Florida, whether Miami Beach or St. Augustine or St. Petersburg, Sarasota, Key West, Fort Myers, and I won't uh, you know, list out all the rest. 
But what we would like to ask is if the sponsor would be willing to work with us because the language of non-conforming as it's currently written, it would mean that any structure along this certain area of the coast that isn't at the brand new FEMA requirement would be considered unsafe. And we don't really think that's a way to call our business hotels and resorts that generate a lot of uh, revenue and, and uh, great stuff for the community. So I think that's me, but we look forward to working further. Thank you. Your time has expired. Uh, members? That concludes public public testimony. We're now in debate. Is the debate on the bill? Seeing no debate, Representative Roach, you recognize the close. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just real quick, I would just point out, and I should have pointed this out in the opening, that we have some specific places, some specific carve outs in the bill. This bill will not apply to any structure that's listed in the National Register of Historic Places, will not apply to single family homes, uh, will not apply to structures on barrier islands with less, with less than 10,000 people. Uh, that have at least six city blocks that are not within the high hazard flood zone. So there are some carve outs to try to address the concerns that the opponents of the bill raise. We'll continue to work to get this bill um, in a posture that everyone loves. Thank you, Chairman, for hearing the bill. Thank you very much, Representative Roach. Having closed on House Bill 1647, Amy, please call the roll and announce the vote. Chair Soroy? Yes. Vice Chair Yeager? Yes. Ranking Democratic Member Casello? Yes. Representatives Amnesty? Yes. Chamberlain? Gant? Yes. Holcomb? Yes. Maggard? Yes. Maney? Yes, ma'am. McFarlane? Yes. Mello? Yes. Nixon? Robinson? Yes. Chauve? Silvers? Valdez? Members, by your vote, will show the bill reported favorably.